What's up you guys, Roman Gonzalez here, and I'm gonna show you how to shoot your own music video. My Canon M50, I got the Canon adapter, I got a Sigma 18 and 35 millimeter 1.8, and I did opt to throw on a KNF ND filter. All this equipment is linked in the description, but be aware, you do not need all this fancy stuff. I have the Manfrotto 290 lights, the best like bang for your buck products, quality products at a great price that I'm using, but you can use something cheaper. This is just what I have in my arsenal and what I opted to use. So be aware of that and let's get right into it. The first thing you wanna be aware of is light, right? I came out here pretty early. It's currently 7.38 a.m. And I actually wanted to get here a little bit earlier so that way I could get the sun peeking up over the mountain but I wasn't able to get it. You know, shit happens, things go wrong. I'm gonna make the best of the situation I have now. We still got about maybe an hour an hour and a half of really nice soft light coming in. That's why you want to shoot either at around sunrise or sunset is because the light is soft, softer. In the middle of the day when the light is really harsh, there are shadows that are hard to work with and it just makes it a lot harder. There's a crop factor on this. So even though I'm all the way at 18, since I'm on a crop frame sensor and I'm in 4K, it's a lot more zoomed in than 18. The first angle I want to definitely get is a wide. Just getting a quick little B-roll. All right, let's do a performance shot. I'm with it. Just give a quick skim to see what it looks like. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and switch it up. Now I'm going to get like a medium shot. I'm going to flip this back into 4K. And we're going to level it out. The only thing is we need some light up in here. These are newer LED panels. The two-pack is super affordable. I believe it's like 170 right now. Link is in the bio. Check it out. Let's see how the frame looks. Turn that bad boy on. Make sure it's not in the frame, but it is on my face. Definitely got a decent variety of shots. I would get, you know, more if you could, especially if you're doing multiple locations. This is just one location. So I got my basic couple wide shots, a couple medium shots, a couple close-ups. And what I'll do in post, and I'll show you how, is I'll add movement so it doesn't look the whole time like it's just sitting on a tripod. Another thing that's gonna be extremely important when you're shooting your own music video is B-roll. So that's what I'm gonna do is get some B-roll, some filler content, so it's not just me looking at the camera. I really didn't know the words to this track, but I did try my best, so take that with a grain of salt. If you are shooting your own music video, make sure you know your lyrics. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I am shooting in 60 frames per second. My shutter's at 125. And I'm gonna flip it out of autofocus, throw it into manual. Make sure you're not wearing sunglasses while you're shooting because then you can't expose right. A lot of people think that you may need a gimbal to get moving shots like this, but the truth is you don't. Sun in the back. Wanna make sure you get all the little details and the accents. I'm gonna grab this shot of this hubcap right here. Make sure you don't have shadows in your shot. Get as many details as you can. You want to get more B-roll than you think you need. Always. You can never do too much B-roll. You want to get the ground, you want to get the sky, you want to get the plants. Anything you can find to make your subject feel like they're at the location. Now to talk about framing, there is the rule of thirds. I am probably going to crop this in a little bit, but you want to make sure, pretend there's a tic-tac-toe box over your screen and you want to put your subject in the cross hairs of those lines. Do that make sense? I don't know. Either way, let's shoot. Never at ease, I don't know a limit, chasing a dream, I don't know a sleep, a stroke, you cut throat from the low low when no love goes, women buddy buddy like a spin dad when I fell, what we on now is wild, shit a trip, huh? life is slim, take a breath, shit. 
I'm gonna use this rock to help me angle this the way I want it. I'm just gonna get a nice slow-mo shot of myself hopping out the whip. Never at ease, I don't know a limit Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is I got a queen, she lit me to eat it She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it You well overdue for that link up in person Try to plan some shots ahead I just got this idea where I'm gonna Put myself basically center frame Crop in If you dig this shirt, there's a link in the description This is my brand, stay confident Whether you're wrong or whether you're right you gotta stay confident, man, under all circumstances. It's just the best way to go. So grab yourself one of these shirts. Remind yourself, stay confident. Yo, that's a wrap, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a couple quick drone shots just because I can. You don't have to have a drone. I mean, you can grab a DJI Spark or a, or a Mavic Mini, and they're super dope. Sorry for the wind. Super dope options for a drone if you want it. If You can also buy stock drone stock footage. Look for stock footage sites or you can rent a drone. Or you can not use a drone at all. They're not necessary for music videos. I just think they're kind of cool, and I like this area. I'm going to try to throw my drone up and get some cool shots. Never at ease, I don't know a limit Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is I got a queen, she lit me to eat it She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it You well overdue for that link up in person Text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it Still up with courage, you're doing a service Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breast strokes Cut throat from the low low, where no love goes Women buddy buddy like it's been dad Wanna fuck me looking at the bill stack Off the bubbly buddy, I been stressed out Let the smoke scream from my chest out Niggas laced up, I really hate love from a stranger Shit is fake stuff, only need it from Yo, yeah, crash land in the palm of my hand Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast Carry the torch, I'm way up the slitty wherever we flow I came from the cold, used to rest on the floor I stitch up my wounds, was born a soldier Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide Hold it down when you talk to me Say it is what it's supposed to be Say it loud, but I mean it too, yeah Talk that good when you talk to me Say it nice and I give it to you Know my word is fun, yeah. What we on now is wild, shit a trip. Yeah. Life is slid, take a breath. Yeah. It's it. Now it's it's wild, it's shit a trip. Life is litty, you shit a gift, bitch. I'm him. I don't really lack nothing. Nah. Trip black fish, hit the splash button. Splish. Niggas landlocked, too bad for him. Wait. And they liable to talk, but it's mad rubbish. It don't mean nothing. From the sword, trying to make it to the top floor of the penthouse, pin games, up the mad guts, bros. No sleeping, been a task grabbing, been a lab at it. The chief of the tribe I put on for my village. Used to be local, I'm taking it global. Drop with the focus, she catching the motion. Treat that holistic, I give it a physics. Fuck your opinion, just did a show, only spit raw material. I'm independent, bitch, I'm in the building. Look what we build it, it feel like no ceiling, we taking it worldwide. Hold it down when you talk to me. Say it is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it too, yeah. Talk that good when you talk to me. Say it nice and I give it to you. You know my word is bun, yeah. What we on now is wild, shit a trip. Life is lit, take a breath. That's it. Now it's, it's wild, it's shit a trip. Life is litty, you shit a gift, bitch, I'm him. Let's jump right into the editing. First thing I'm gonna do, which I've already done, is import my footage. This all that I have right here is <clears throat> what you just watched of me explaining how to shoot the music video and showing the behind the scenes of me shooting the music video. But once I'm ready to edit the actual music video, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to import my clips, I'm gonna import my song, and then I'm gonna drag and drop my song right into my timeline. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over to my folder with all of my clips in it. Make this a little bit bigger so I can see more clips at a time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop all of the performance shots and I'm going to start lining them up to match with the music. That way the lips are matching up. Didn't really know the lyrics like to the song at all so my my lips aren't going to match up. I was just mouthing random words or hitting whatever words I could. So I'm gonna find the part of the clip where the song starts about. I'm gonna hit I on my keyboard for the end point to mark the point of the clip 
that I want to import. Boom, so about right there is when the song comes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer that right over my audio. And I could tell I already came in a little bit late, so I'm just gonna zoom in so I can see what's going on here. I'm gonna find the point on my clip where the beat comes in. Which, it looks like it's already on that part. So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit further. And now if you look closely on the sound clip, you can see these little waves right here. So that is like the sound waves. So usually you can use those those spikes in the sound waves to pinpoint uh, where you can match the beats. I'll listen to it and I'll place a marker right where the beat comes in. Just hit the, the M button on your keyboard to place a marker and um, match it up with wherever that beat comes in also on the track. So I'm gonna match, it, match those up. And may take some fine tuning. Sometimes you get it on the first try. Sometimes you gotta move it around 10 or 20 times to find the right spot. Now there are third party apps that will line up your music for you. I personally have, am just kind of, you know, always on a budget. <laughs> and, um, you know, for all 300 plus music videos that I've edited, I've done them completely by hand and I've gotten decent. Um, at lining up the music. It's part of the job for me. Yeah, it probably would be worth it to buy a $300 pro uh, product or app that lines it up for me and saves the time each for each video I have to do, um, but I just haven't done that yet. So that's on you if you want to do it. This is the budget way. Run it back to make sure. I toggle the mute button. To kind of test out if it's on and it seems to be right on right on track so it seems to be lined up perfectly I'm gonna go ahead and delete the audio from the camera and go to the next clip I'm gonna grab the next performance clip find the in and out point where I wanna drop the clip in drop that in here zoom in on the sound waves to make sure it's lined up correctly which it isn't so I just need to line up that spike with this spike right here now another thing that I notice, if you can see that, I mean obviously you can see that the clip I dropped in is smaller than my project. I opened up a 4K sequence, which means that this sequence I'm editing in is 4K, but the clip that I just dropped in here is 1080p, 60 frames, which is why it's smaller. Um, the reason why I shot it in 1080p, 60 frames is so that I can utilize the slow motion. I shot the whole performance in slow motion and I typically shoot all of my b-roll in slow motion as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna before I start chopping up this clip I'm gonna expand the whole clip I'm gonna right click on it and then go to scale to frame size or set to same fry same si frame size you can select either one I'm gonna hit scale to frame size and then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna right click again and I'm gonna label it my choice is mango um, but I'm going to label it mango so it's a different color than my 4K clips. So that way I know that if when I, while I'm editing, if I want to slow this down, I can I have the option to slow it down. Again, I'm editing in a 4K 24 frames per second sequence. But this clip is a 60 frames per second um, clip. So... It doesn't match and that's why it needs to be rendered, but when you render it out, it'll just render in 24 frames per second and it won't look like it's moving too fast. The reason why you want to render in 24 frames per second is because it's the closest frame rate to which our eyes process. Uh, so when you're exporting in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second, it's just going to appear that the frames are moving faster um, than what we normally process. So for the most cinematic look, you want to slow down your footage to 24 FPS. So when I slow down my my uh, 60 frames per second footage, after I expand it, what I'll, I'll do when I want to slow it down is I'll take the clip I want to slow down and I'll slow it to 40% and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, but that makes it run perfectly smooth at about 24 frames per second. So that is how you get smooth slow motion. You also want to make sure that your shutter speed is always at least twice your frame rate. So if I'm shooting in 24 FPS on a DSLR, I want my shutter speed to be at 50 or 1 over 50. If I'm shooting in 120 frames per second, I need that to be at at least 240 or 250 shutter speed. So 
Just a little tip in ca case you're having trouble getting smooth uh, slow mo, that's most likely the reason. So let's go ahead and check this, make sure that it is all lined up right. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen, she lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. And what I would do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smart as she wrote it. Seems to be on point, so I'm gonna delete that soundtrack once again and find the next clip. And I'm just gonna keep doing this for every single performance clip. Now you can also shoot in 1080p, 23 frames per sec, or 24 frames per second, um, just to get a wider angle. Sometimes you want to do that, um, but, but for this video in particular, every time I shot in 1080, it was just to get the slow mo 60 frames per second. So that's how I already know. I expanded it and now I'm going to label it mango. You know, you can label it whatever color you want. I just choose mango. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, that one is off. So you, you so that's how you can tell it's off. Obviously, it's echoing. So that's obviously, you know, a couple frames off. That's why it's echoing like that. And see, I can already see there's a little spike right here and it should be over here. So I got eight layers of performances. This is a decent amount of performance clips. Honestly, for like a low budget music video, I <laughs> a lot of times won't even do this many uh, performances. I have plenty of music videos that are really great quality videos and I only did like just one or two or three performances. Um, so take that, you know, for what you will. But the next thing I'm gonna do is you know my my intro the beginning of the song and the end of the song usually pretty much always start with b-roll close-ups stuff like that to get you accustomed to the environment but the second thing you want to do after you've lined up all of your clips if you want to get this done you know efficiently what you want to do is go ahead and play it through Never at ease. I don't know a limit. and what i'm gonna do is i want to cut on the beat i want to put splice marks so i'm gonna hit the the letter C on my keyboard, which changes my cursor to a blade or a cut marker. I'm going to cut on the beats that I want to change angles at, or I want to change shots at. So this is very important. Um, this is kind of a point like where it, you really dive into the artistry of editing and feeling the music. And a lot of times I'll even just like to close my eyes and just feel the beat and say, this is where I want to cut on. So you just want to go through the track and make cut marks on all of the points where you want to make a cut. Now this could be solely based off of you know the snares or the bass drum or whatever um, you know whatever beat you want to cut on or if you want to cut on the lyric or you just want to cut on a feeling it's completely up to you you want to just do what feels right so I'm cutting kind of on the beat and on the end of each bar um, that's just kind of, kind of how I feel it. Usually I will switch up the tempo. So throughout the song, I might start off cutting on each bar and then I might cut as the beat changes, I might start cutting on a different you know, beat. It's really up to you. Um, but you want to go through the whole song and just get it all chopped up and ready to go. Uh, and you can also use the sound waves as kind of like guidance markers because sometimes I hit the space bar and I pause it and it's like a second too late or a couple frames too late so I'll just run it back and line it up and pay attention to when I'm seeing the waves and which beat I want to cut on just because I'm making these cuts right here doesn't mean that I'm gonna even use one of these clips I might decide to put a b-roll clip right there but at least I know where the beats hitting so that I can snap it in there and as long as I have this little magnet turned on right here that's the snapping tool it'll just snap right in right together the thing that I'll do while I'm going through uh, chopping up these clips right now the, the whole reason why you see the whole timeline and the screens are small is because I'm focusing on chopping up uh, these clips with the waves so this is what I want to see but also as I'm doing it what I can do is I can click on this little uh, eye and toggle the, which uh, tracks I'm looking at and so I, since it's just this top track I can go ahead and just click that and now when I'm it'll show me the layer under it and so now when I'm just scrolling through and looking at the footage I can kind of get an idea of which clips I want to use and where and um, how I want to do that 
Bubbly buddy, I've been stressed out with the smoke screen. And I can kind of click around and see what the different clips are. You get, uh, I, I pretty much know what these clips are going to look like because they're all on a tripod. But when it's you're moving around and doing different movements, it's good to really be able to see what's going on. So I'm basically making a cut every like two to three seconds. Sometimes it's longer, sometimes it's shorter, um, based on the beat and however I'm feeling it. It really just depends. See, I've been cutting on the bass, but I'm liking. I like this little, that little snare right there. I'm gonna cut on the snare that time. Another thing that you want to do is you don't want to show all of your clips too early. So even though like you might have a dope, uh, uh, really nice looking image on each of your for clips right in the beginning, you want don't want to show all of them because you just give away your whole story. And it's kind of like by the time you get to the middle of the video, there's nothing more for your viewer to look at. So you want to make sure that you're integrating and kind of flowing in bringing in different perspectives and angles and, and uh, scenes and whatnot uh, progressively. That's why you want to have a variety. Um, but you don't want to just give out everything, like just throw it all up at the beginning. You want to have a variety and have some shots that people haven't seen before uh, throughout the video. So then once I have everything chopped up, what I'm going to do is pick and choose the best clips. And like I said before, the intro, I usually put B-roll and I'll put the B-roll in uh, lastly, so kind of like that shot. Maybe if it's zoomed in and slowed down a little bit, you got the position, you got the size, rotation, and um, so in order to make the magic happen, basically to make this look less boring and not look like it's just a bunch of tripod shots, is I'm gonna add movement to each of the shots as you saw a little bit of it uh, in the beginning with the sample videos I'm just gonna add uh, some movement some slow-mo to kind of spice it up and make it appear that it wasn't just a camera sitting on a tripod this whole time to slow this down I'm gonna right click it I'm gonna go to speed slash duration I'm gonna enter 40 slow down to 40% and that's gonna make it um, I kind of like how I turn my head there better, so I'm gonna move that over a little bit. I got a queen. See how that looks. So basically, I'm turning a performance shot into B-roll by slowing it down. I got a queen. Let me even. Now I'd like to just add a little bit more movement to it. So I'm gonna go up to the beginning of the clip. I'm gonna scale it out pretty much as far as I can which would be about right there and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a keyframe so I'm going to click the little keyframe button for position and scale even rotation just in case maybe I'll want to change the rotation and then so as I move and the clip goes on I just want to have it zoom in so I'll move it move the cursor over here and I'll make another keyframe just by zooming it in like so and then when you play it back, it's going to look a little bit nicer. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. I think this is going to turn out well. So you just pretty much go through, pick and choose uh, the shots that you like. Like I know I, I need a B-roll shot there, so I'm just going to click over. I'm going to grab one of these B-roll shots. I like this shot with the flowers. I'm going to make my end point, hit I on the keyboard. I like that shot right there. That's a good one too, so. Throw that in here. Scroll down and delete the audio. Delete my empty audio tracks because they just kind of get in the way. And then I want to scale it up. Scale to frame size. And then I'm going to slow it down and right click. Slow it down to 40%. I just want it to last for that little clip, so turn it up. So I've got it all chopped up now, and basically I'm just going to skim through it and kind of make, you know, minor tweaks and adjustments as I see fit. So let's check it out.
Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she let me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. Um, I think that second clip could be stabilized a little bit more, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click over to effects right here. I'm gonna type in warp stabilizer. Oh, actually first what I have to do is I have to nest this clip. Make a nest. And then I'm gonna click and drag warp stabilizer onto it. Warp stabilizer is hit or miss, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm kinda willing to bet that it'll work on this clip. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what's nice. sleep. I got a queen, she let me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. But what I would do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a smurder, she wrote it. I want that to move the whole time. Just move these keyframes over to the beginning of the clip. Another example of a tweak, this particular clip just looks too blue, so I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Lumetri color tab and just warm that up a little bit. It looks a little too green. Just balance that out. Looks better. Looks better right here, but still a little bit too blue. Just warm it up a little bit. Got everything now. Add it in, I got my little intro. Never eat. Timeline looks pretty much how I want it. The only thing I gotta do now is add some color grading. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little page here at the bottom. I'm gonna click on uh, make create a new adjustment layer. That all looks good. I'm just gonna drag this in. Drag this on in right there, right over the footage. And I'm going to <clears throat> lengthen that out so that I can apply a color grade to the entire edit uh, without having to color grade each clip individually. Um, I still, You still may have to go in and tweak each clip, but this will give it a base layer of color grading. Um, sometimes what I'll do if I'm shooting in d multiple locations or I'm uh, you know, doing a higher end music video, I'll color grade each scene individually. So this uh, video happens to all just be shot in one place, pretty much the same scene the whole time. So I'm just opting with an adjustment layer um, to throw a color grade on here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now... Uh, you know, for for me personally, I'm just gonna go and grab one of my LUTs. You can find my LUTs linked in my Selfie store under in the description. I will be dropping some more in-depth color grading tutorials, but um, for a basic music vid video, I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. Um, I already have a LUT of mine in mind um, that I like for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and save. Click over to the Lumetri color tab up here up top. I'm going oh. And uh, I'm going to click on the three lines, and I'm going to, wait. <clears throat> so I'm going to cl click on my adjustment layer, then over here under the Lumetri color tab, I'm going to scroll down to creative. And you may, a lot of people don't know, you can actually stack LUTs on here. So you can do creative, where you can add in a, a LUT, and then you can change the intensity of the LUT. And you can also throw in another LUT right here where it says input LUT on the main uh, basic correction page. So... I'm going to go under the creative tab, tap on look, tap on browse. I'm going to find my LUTs. Go to my LUTs. And I like this one, the Bullhead City, Colorado River. I use those for um, Hot Feet's videos. Go check out Hot Feet if you haven't already. Those are some dope ass videos. Um, but yeah, we'll go with that one. Nice. So gave it gave it some some orange. I think it's a little too much orange, so I'm just gonna pull out some of that orange. I'm also gonna drop the intensity a little bit because it's just it's just a little too a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Just drop the intensity a little bit down to about 80. Got the contrast. You got the blues looking good. Skin tone's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna draw out maybe a little bit of the satch. Drop the satch, pump the vibrate, the vibrance. 
I like to usually do that. That looks pretty good to me, man. Normally I will spend a little more time on color grading, but this is just to give you guys an idea. I think it looks pretty good. Um, obviously you can judge for yourself. Um, but yeah, man. I'm cool with it. Go ahead and render it out, give it one last look, and then we'll send it out. The last thing I'm going to do is just throw in some simple titles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the T tool, or I'll just click the letter T on my keyboard. And type in the title. Tilden Park. That's the name of the artist who did this song. Just going to change the font. <clears throat> Tap effect controls, go down to the text, change the font. Now, uh, Adobe has a service called Typekit. You can go to typekit.com and import any of custom fonts. Um, so these are all my Typekit fonts I have imported. I like to use this Bebas New Rounded. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that this one, this title. Or the other one I like to use is the... Oh, it's not even here, actually. Oh no, Mrs. Eve's right there. That's the other one I like to use. Actually, I'll just stick with this one. Right, this one, or... Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Can, you can double-click this these tabs up here to make it bigger. <clears throat> and then I'll usually just fade them in. Click over to effects. Video transitions, dissolve, cross dissolve, just fade in the title. Never at ease, I don't know a limit, chasing a dream. Fade it out. Looks pretty good to me. Fade it out. And we got ourselves a music video. Might as well throw my director credit in there too. And we got a music video. Hey, if you found this video helpful, you have any comments, you have any questions at all, make sure you drop a comment down below. We'd love to converse with you. Please, 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 I'd really appreciate it if you smack the like button for me. Really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you haven't already. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lit me to eating. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breast strokes. Cut throat from the low, low, when no love goes. Women buddy, buddy, like it's been that. When the fuck me looking at the bill stack. Off the bubbly, buddy, I've been stressed out. Let the smoke scream from my chest out. Niggas lay stuff, I really hate love from a stranger. Shit is fake stuff, only need it from Yo, yeah, crash land in the palm of my hand. Bad little flex, wanna play by the coast. Carry the torch, I'm way up, it's litty wherever we flow. I came from the cold, used to rest on the floor. I stitched up my wounds, was born a soldier. Flipping the struggle, I'm taking it worldwide. Hold it down when you talk to me. Say it is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it to you. Yeah. Talk that good when you talk to me. Say it nice and I give it to you. Know my word is fun, yeah. What we on now is wild, shit a trip. Yeah. Life is slid, take a breath. Yeah. Now it's it's wild, it's shit a trip. Life is litty, shit a gift, bitch. I'm him. I don't
don't really lack nothing. Trip black fish, hit the splash button. Niggas landlocked, too bad for him. And they liable to talk, but it's mad rubbish. It don't mean nothing. From the shore, trying to make it to the top floor of the penthouse, pin games, something mad yuts, gross. No sleeping, been a task rabbit, been a lab at it. The chief of the tribe I put on for my village. Used to be local, I'm taking it global. Drop with the focus, she catching the motion. Treat that holistic, I give it a physics. Fuck your opinion, just did a show, only spit raw material. I'm independent, bitch, I'm in the building. Look what we build it, it feel like no ceiling, we taking it worldwide. Hold it down when you talk to me. Say it is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it to ya. Talk that good when you talk to me. Say it nice and I give it to you. You know my word is burn, yeah. What we on now is wild, shit a trip. Life is lit, take a breath. That's it. Now it's, it's wild, it's shit a trip. Life is litty, you shit a gift, bitch, I'm him.